Good afternoon from the beautiful East Eddie Wall. I'm Pat, Real Man of Genius, and I'm gonna play around with some ballistics gel and some 458 SOCOM ammo. It's kind of some exotic stuff that pedals out real wide. I'll give you a look at that right now. All right, guys. The first one is gonna be the 400 grain Maker Buzzsaw Subsonic from Black Butterfly. These right here are, of course, traveling subsonic speeds. I had a pleasant surprise today when I was going through some old stuff and I saw that I had the turbo saws. This is the high velocity turbo saw and it's the same exact 400 grain projectile but these are traveling at 1500 feet per second. I think the website rates them at 1515. So we basically get the same projectile with about 50 percent more speed. So that's going to be kind of neat. Subsonic, supersonic. The next one is the 500 grain buzz saw. These are subsonic as well. So it's that same maker projectile, 100 grains heavier than subsonic. And then this right here is going to be the Trex from Black Butterfly. That's a 300 grain traveling at 1700 feet per second. So what I'm going to try to do is shoot these into the gel, guesstimating which one will go further. And I'm going to try to shoot that one first. That way we're not wrecking projectiles. Let's see how that turns out. But here is the test pig. This is my 458 SOCOM. You've probably seen in several videos. And of course it's suppressed. That's the Silencer Co. Hybrid. Got a Tromex barrel, jack, CMC trigger. So let's get at it. Okay, today I laid down some galvanized because uh, the last time that I tried, I shot the, blew a hole in my table with the 50 AE, and that was not the bullet. It was the expansion of the gel busting my table. So hopefully the galvanized is a little tougher today. But I'm having trouble determining which one I think will be the, go the deepest, okay? So I've got the 300 grain Trex at 1700, and I've got the 400 grain Maker at 1515. So I'm kind of thinking I'll shoot this one first and see if it goes deeper. So let's see if that works out. So first one is the 400 grain, then the second will be the 300 grain Trex. Okay, so I was pretty much correct on that one going the furthest. We've got a pedal, we've got a pedal. And then what I noticed is that it goes straight back. It nailed our two by six. Came straight out of the back. And then our backstop has got a brand new hole right there. So there's the rest of that slug is somewhere in that railroad tie. <laughs> okay, time for the treks. Okay, never mind. That Trex is freaking brutal. <laughs> it flipped the gel block upside down. And look what it did to my galvanized. It pushed straight down. We busted the table any freaking way. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let me give you a closer look at this. So that's just a big old hammer formed punch. <laughs> oh goodness but at least we caught the projectile ha 
Okay, so now I've turned our galvanized around so it's flat. And I've got the 500 grain buzz saw. That's the one that I thought would penetrate the third. Um, I think it's probably going to be about even with the treks. So let's try this. Okay, so it went just a little bit further than I thought. So there's the treks. There's the 500 grain. Time for the 400 grain. All right, up next is the 400 grain buzz saw subsonic. Oh, you look. Of course, the black butterfly. Now, this was the 300 grain Trex. There it is before, and there it is after. There's that little ballistic tip. really really neat stuff here's the 400 grain before of course that was the supersonic shed its pedals and just drove right on through this is the subsonic and there's the 500 grain before and the 500 grain buzz saw afterwards that black discoloration is when that goes through that gel and burns the gel. So just for size comparison, that is probably comparable to the size of the phone you're watching this video on. That's a Samsung Galaxy S7. And that is how large those are. All right, guys. 85% of you guys aren't subscribed to me. You need to be, okay? I've got 15% of my viewers are subscribed, and I love them to death. So if you'll hit that subscribe button, I'll love you to death. Well, I guess love is optional. But anyway, have a wonderful day, and we'll catch up with you next time.